All right, the actual high pressure oil pump, this is a uh, 7.3 high pressure oil pump. Uh, it's made by Caterpillar. You'll see this exact same design on the 466 International, and you'll also see it on a variety of Caterpillar engines. The 6.0 had two different types of high pressure oil pumps, an early and a late. The early ones had lots of troubles uh, because the internal gears would come apart in them and they, they updated it. And then, I don't know, I think somebody at International got fired or something like that and they came in with a whole new design team that came out with this later model one. Uh, and the pump itself is actually outstanding but they have problems with the fittings uh, coming apart inside the uh, the high pressure oil system internally so uh, you know they fixed the one problem but they created another which is you know kinda how corporate America works at some points and then the last one here is our high pressure fuel pump off of a 6.4 this is uh, an extremely sophisticated piece uh, uses three pistons and, and uh, sequential uh, pump that makes like I say up to 30,000 PSI the one drawback to this system is is that you cannot under any circumstances anywhere anytime put anything other than ultra low sulfur diesel and an additive is all you can run in this you do not want to run the low sulfur diesel you do not want to run off-road diesel if you get water in the system you're in trouble this truck is actually designed to shut off before it even gets to this pump do not put gasoline inside of your 6.4 truck or else you're going to tear up the pump. As we can see here, this is what actually came out of this particular pump. It had to be replaced because of gasoline and of course they will not replace it under warranty. They will do the fuel testing to make sure that you didn't do something stupid like put gasoline in your truck and try to go down the road. The, the 6.4 uh, fuel system is much more sophisticated in terms of fail safes to keep you from damaging the uh, high pressure uh, fuel pump. Uh, but at the same time, contaminants can get by, and Ford will not warranty this if they determine that your fuel is contaminated. Uh, and, and if you're running that damned old red off-road fuel, that will void your warranty and you will be spending several thousand dollars, not just to replace the, the pump itself, but all the lines have to be replaced to go to this. And you got to put eight injectors in it because this stuff gets sent down through... Uh, your whole entire fuel system. So it's a very expensive uh, screw up. Um, gasoline is, a, is a, a big no no. Also, the things that have changed over time are fuel injectors. The 73 fuel injector, uh, the, the old CAT style HEUI system is state of the art, it's indestructible. Uh, you can pass small pebbles through this fuel injector uh, and it will still run. Of course, it has a negative effect of with water getting to it, especially if you let it sit in it. But for the most part, I've seen uh, these injectors uh, uh, live through things that they shouldn't have. Uh, the 6.0 fuel injector is, is a much more sophisticated design, but it's also more delicate. It has to have uh, correct filtration, and water is a definite enemy of this injector. Uh, it, will, it will screw it up. It will mess up the insides of it very quickly, uh, and, it, and, it can, uh, and it can't handle the heat that the uh, the 73 injector can they had at some point they had injector tips falling off and then of course fuel would get poured in there and then the, you'd be burning pistons and whatnot the 6.4 injector is a very simple injector it doesn't have any of the high pressure oil actuation in it so it's a straight shot poppet valve that's electronically controlled and your high pressure fuel uh, is injected into it it's a very simple system but it's very sophisticated in terms of the control of the fuel uh, to be able to maintain uh, emissions control and whatnot. The other thing we want to talk about is uh, head bolts that we have here. This is a 7.3 head bolt. It's a relatively small bolt uh, compared to the other two. Uh, but you've got on the cylinder head, you've got 18 of these, actually six around each cylinder so that there's plenty of clamping power even if you torque it to 150 foot-pounds. The uh, 6.0 uses a torque to yield bolt that of course we all know about being problematic uh, but it's the bolt itself is not a, a bad design but when you start uh, injecting heat into the coolant uh, via the EGR cooler especially under a high load these things tend to stretch a little bit and let head gaskets fail. The repair for that of course is a is a very expensive box full of uh, head studs. These particular ones are ARP which are very sufficient for normal use drag racing and whatnot. Uh, you may want to go to a little better head stud but for the most part the uh, ARP studs are very very adequate in solving head gasket failures in the 6.0. 
one of the major steps between the 6.0 and the 6.4 in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, making sure that the head gaskets can stand up to the cylinder pressures is they upgraded the bolts. Now they didn't put any more bolts in there, they still only have the, the 20 bolts which is basically four around each cylinder, but they went to much bigger ones that are much stronger and they yield at a very, very high rate. Uh, they're not as flexible and malleable as the 6.0 bolt as we can see here we went from 14 millimeter up to 16 millimeter and uh, it's a considerably stronger bolt uh, and they're torqued much tighter on the engine. So that pretty much solved the head gasket problems. The single most important part that makes power on a power stroke diesel is the turbocharger system. The turbocharger is the key. Okay, the whole reason when they built the 7.3s that they had to go to this bigger, beefier engine over the old style indirect injection systems and what they called the 93, the turbo diesel, which was just a, a bad case of blowing engines up was all that thing was. You push that engine, it'll pop like a cork because the, the engine structure of the early IDI engine couldn't stand the boost and the heat. So they came out with a power stroke, the 7.3 power stroke. Very simple, straightforward system. Uh, you know, it, 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 the exhaust comes in, it spins the, uh, the, the turbine, which makes uh, uh, pressure at the compressor, uh, makes some boost. They intercooled it on the later models, uh, went into the engine. Uh, you stuff more air molecules in there. You, you put some fuel to it uh, to, to, to make it run right, and it was a fantastic setup. The downside of this turbo being so big is you have lag off the line. It, 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 it takes a second for this turbo to spin up because it's just so darn big. It makes a lot of boost out on the road when you're going to climb a hill. She kicks in and does what she's got to do. So, they took, so the engineers took this design and they took what they had from it and they incorporated a lot of the same ideas into the 6 liter turbo. Now the 6 liter turbo, and I'm not going to go into this because I've, I've actually done it in a different section, but the big thing that you need to understand about this turbocharger is it uses high pressure oil and a valve in here that actually actuates veins on the exhaust side called variable geometry turbo. This allows the littler engine, the 6 liter engine, to, to make more torque than the 7.3 a basic overview of variable geometry is, is that by, by taking the, the lower exhaust flow, say off idle, and directing it with little veins inside here onto the turbine allows it to spin up much quicker and as a result your compressor side can achieve full efficiency almost off idle. Uh, it's an outstanding setup. It allows the truck to be very, very responsive uh, and especially with a little bit of tuning these things will just fly. Uh, and it's, a, it's an outstanding design. It was a huge leap forward over this. Uh, variable geometry turbos have become standard over the last five to ten years in all big trucks. Uh, pretty much everybody, uh, Dodge and Chevrolet, use the same design. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fantastic system. That was the big step from, one, from, the, from the, the 7.3 to the 6 liter was variable geometry turbo.